Well, the next frontier in the fight for gender equality, crash test, crash test dummies, the dummy said. Uh, for decades, government crash tests have relied on male dummies to represent women, even though men and women have different physical builds. Newer female versions are available, but it's not required to use them in crash tests. But some safety experts say the impact of using female crash test dummies could be life-saving. Here's NBC's Tom Costello. Somehow, a family of four in this small SUV survived after being hit head-on by a pickup at 70 miles per hour. But Hannah Shank and her 10-year-old daughter, Myra, suffered neck, spinal, and severe abdominal trauma. We had similar um, injuries. The, our lower intestines had been completely destroyed by the seatbelts. Um, and they had to do emergency surgery to save our lives. Hannah also suffered a brain injury, while her husband and son's injuries were less severe. Exactly what researchers have found for years. Females in the front seat are 73% more likely than males to be injured in a crash, 17% more likely to die. Since the 1980s, the government crash tests that give out those five-star ratings have relied on smaller male dummies to represent females, even though women and girls are often more petite with less muscle mass. New high-tech female dummies have been available for years, but the government doesn't require them. This is the old female crash test dummy used for decades. This is the new high-tech version, much more anatomically correct. From the legs, the pelvis, up into the spine, the neck and the head, 150 sensors, including a soft abdomen to detect any seatbelt injuries. The closer you are to the dashboard, the higher the risk of injury in that particularly for women, might be a factor. Chris O'Connor runs Humanetics, the biggest maker of crash test dummies. The biggest injury is in the lower legs. And so it has a combination of their anatomical nature and also the way they sit in a car. European and Asian safety regulators are already using new female dummies, but while the U.S. Transportation Department has been studying them for nine years, it still doesn't require them. It completely ignored women. They continue to completely ignore women. Government regulators say gender disparities are unacceptable and concede the approval process has taken too long. But while men are more likely to cause crashes, women are more likely to die. For the news, I'm Tom Costello.